All right, guys, we are back for another video. This one's a little bit different. Um, I've got pro roller and pro ice hockey player John Chavo here. Um, if you guys haven't seen either one of our social social accounts, they are listed below. We are here to talk about the new Mars Blade R1 frame. Uh, went up for pre-order late last week, early last week, actually. Um, so let's jump right into it. Uh, we put up earlier on both of our social accounts to get questions on the pre-orders that Mars Blade put out. Uh, there's some confusion on their frames and what they're selling and what the benefits of these frames are. So the first question that I have is, are these frames a lot lighter than the previous model that Mars Blade put out? I will pass it over so, to John to handle that. So yeah, these new chassis that just came out, the R1 by Mars Blades, is completely different from their other roller line. Their O1 line is an off-ice training tool. So it is game ready to play, but is a training tool specific for ice hockey players to train on wheels and to specifically make you feel like you're on the ice as best you can. The R1 is a totally new line that I've actually been a part of creating and designing for inline performance. So for inline games for playing, that doesn't mean you can't use the O1 or the R1. You can use them both in inline games but this is a specific chassis made to play games for inline for inline players to perform even better so this is their new line and they are completely different so one is for off ice training one is for inline playing awesome i think a lot of people um don't understand that um, but i think that will clear up a lot of the confusion behind the two products and so that people can figure out what's best for them or what they need to purchase um, I had another question come in that says, how hard is it to convert skates over and what's the learning curve on these frames? So if you are on a standard high-low frame and you go to this Mars Blade R1 frame, is there a learning curve on it or what's that going to be like the first time you go out and skate? I would say there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve and it was for myself too. I think as you get more comfortable with it, there's a little bit of a rock. So if you see on their website, if you've looked up, it's called the flow motion technology. And that means in the heel and the toe, it's rocking back and forth. So the biggest benefit for me when I got used to it was all four wheels are always connecting on the ground. So when I'm stopping, when I'm turning, I'm able to dig in a little bit more and dig in pushing with my heel where a normal chassis wouldn't move. It wouldn't flow with the wheels. So you're usually stuck on a high low or stuck on a tray chassis. Now with this, you're able to rock. So you can rock into the turn and rock out of the turn with that little bit of a flow. But when you first get used to them, the mo movement and the motion in it might feel weird. But once you get comfortable, like it helped my performance a bunch. And I could tell with pure stats, with skating drills that I compared, um, that this performance was, was seconds better. And for other pro players that were testing them with us, they literally say in interviews and in meetings after the testing, like, holy smokes, I feel that much faster. And that literally feeds right into the next question. Uh, so the next question we got, with skates trying to improve on energy transfer, do these improve stride for stride? Like if you're coming from a standard high-low frame, do you feel that in every stride that you're taking? So I did. I felt like it was a boost in my stride, um, and especially in corners. And we, we call it sculling. So like when you're C cutting and you're keeping both feet on the ground, like the pumping that you could use with the flow motion technology made you feel like you had a boost and pushing, like you weren't wasting your strides by not being able to absorb the rink. So I think for the performance side of it, it absolutely helped me. And like I said, it took time off my lap. It took time off stop and goes and things that we were testing time-wise to truly prove that I was skating faster in the R1 than I was on my regular high low chassis. Awesome. Did you notice any difference um, in quickness or in top speed? Like, um, again, just going from, you know, a standard high low frame, um, I assume that you're gonna be faster and quicker coming out of turns or even in top speed with the, with the new R1 frame. Yeah, 100%. I think that all goes with the all four wheels touching the ground and you being able to still like rock your foot in the boot. So if I'm going into a turn, and I'm coming out of it and I could pump through the turn by using that flow motion that when I'm coming out, I'm still gaining my speed where sometimes in roller, if we're digging into a tight, into a tight corner or a tight turn, you would be losing speed because you're just putting on the brakes and not trying to flow through it. 
So now with these, when you could dig in, flow through it, and you could even pump out of it, it 100% makes you maintain speed a lot faster and get faster through those turns. Awesome. Um, coming from, I guess, a newer player's perspective in roller, um, so a standard high-low frame where you have, you know, 76 on your front, 80 on your back, do, do Mars Blade or is this frame offered in like a standard 80 setup or does it have to be like a 76, 76, 80, 80? I believe that the R1 comes in a 80, 80, 76, 76 for the medium chassis. That's what I have on my size eight skates. Um, that's what we did all the testing with. So that's what I believe came out. 280s in the back, 276s in the front. Um, not sure if you could change that, but I like the high-low feel. And then if you're looking on their website, if you're looking around, there's actually different inserts. So you could pick how much rock and what kind of rock you like. So that kind of adds to if you have a high low and you want it more dipped, you can change the insert. Or if you want it straighter, you can change the insert. So that's where I think they just went with a high low and then you could kind of adjust it from there. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Um, going back to the frame, a lot of the questions that I've got or comments that I've got are about the weight on the frame. Can you talk about the weight on the frame um, on the R1 frame? versus uh, say one of the, the crypto chassis or the weight versus um, their O1, like their off ice training frame? Yeah, so I've used the training frame a lot, obviously helping for my ice skating and getting ready for the ice season. Um, that chassis is definitely heavier than the new one. So the R1 is definitely lighter than their training chassis, like for sure. Um, I have wore regular high-low chassis my whole life. So switching to this, it definitely is a little bit heavier, like a couple more grams heavier. Um, but in my eyes, when I saw the performance, the weight didn't really matter. Uh, I'm a player that I wear a true skate. So if anyone knows what a true skate is like, that boot is actually heavier than a Bauer, a CCM, a Reebok, anything I've worn in the past, the true boot is actually a little bit heavier. But for me, when I'm wearing a true boot, I have that much more control on the ice and on my wheels. So I take that little grams extra to feel more comfortable to get performance. So I think the same thing with these. Uh, regular high-low chassis might be lighter, but not by too much. And now you're switching to something that you feel that like you're performing better in. So I don't think the grams actually matter to me as much. To other people, they just go by numbers. That's totally fine and I totally get it. Sticks are getting lighter. You obviously want your skates to be as light as possible. But for me, you could tell that the regular high-low chassis is definitely lighter, but I wouldn't say by much. Awesome. Um, so on Mars Blades website with the pre-order, they offer it where you can buy just the R1 frame, and they also offer it where you can buy it already attached to an alkali boot. Um, is One, is this a new boot that's coming out? Um, two, do you have any experience with that boot? I don't. So I've been uh, very lucky to always wear my true skates or Bauer skate um, with my Mars blades. I know Alkali has been around for a while now. I have a lot of good buddies that are sponsored and also just bought their skates and like them very much. So yeah, this is a new boot by them that they partnered with Mars blades to put on with their chassis. So I think it's a good connection for them. I think it's going to work out well. And I've never heard negative, negative things about Alkali skates. So I'm excited to see them. I might even get to try them, which that would be very interesting for me to try something new like that. Um, I don't know too much about the boot. I do know their past skates have been good and very recommended. Um, and you could find them on all sorts of inline warehouse, hockey monkey, things like that. They're all selling them. So I believe that Mars Blade just took a step to get a good company connected with them. And like I said, I've been lucky to wear my true skates with all of my chassis that I've had on them. So I don't know exactly, but I think for them, it's beneficial because if you want a good boot, you have the opportunity to get it made fully, ready to rock, ready to skate. Or if you have a skate that you really like and you can just convert them over, then you're able to just buy the chassis and do the conversion yourself. Awesome. Fantastic information. Okay. So I uh, wanted to go back and touch on this one more time. Uh, this image was sent to us. It shows on the left-hand side their R1 frames, a new frame that went up for pre-order last week, um, and their O1 frame, the off-ice frame, details the benefits of both. So we've had a lot of people ask, and there's some confusion on well, which frame is, is for this, which frame is for that. 
Um, personally, I've skated on the off ice frame quite a lot. Um, it's uh, right now, especially with everything on lockdown and quarantine, um, it's a fantastic tool. So if you can't get on the ice to be able to skate on it, have not skated on the R1 frame personally. Um, John's been on it for what, eight ish months now or so? Yeah, just about. Yeah, so um, if anybody has questions or specific questions that we didn't cover in this video, please leave them down in the comments. Myself or John will get to those and get them answered. Um, even if we need to do a follow up video on that, we can do that as well. Um, all right, so especially with all the quarantine going on, um, the, I think the popularity of their O1, the off ice frame, has just literally went through the roof. There's a ton of pro players wearing it right now. Um, so you've got Burns, Barkov, Malkin, all these guys are posting on social that they're getting these. Um, I've got them personally. Obviously, I'm not an NHL skater, but can you touch on like the technical points of the benefits of this frame? So if you can't get ice, this is literally the next best thing. Why should people be going out and looking for this frame? A hundred percent. When I first had the opportunity to wear it, um, I got on it and I felt literally like I was going to fall down. And I've been on wheels my whole life, comfortable on wheels, um, but not as comfortable on ice because I started ice after roller. So when I got on these frames, I was like, holy smokes, it makes you really try and balance, makes you really engage your core and engage your legs the whole time because it's rocking so much that it wants you to feel like you're getting a workout and training at the same time to be easily translated back to the ice. So when you're on the ice, you have your blades and at the front of the blade, you have that rock and at the back of the blade, you have that rock. So same with the skates and the chassis with those O1s. It rocks in the front, it rocks in the back. So you're really having to engage like you're on the ice. But when you're truly skating on these and then you go back to the ice, the transition is seamless. And I've had multiple ex-NHL players. I've had buddies that play in that that are wearing them in the minors um, and everyone lately that I've talked to especially during this quarantine that has never worn them before is shooting me texts giving me calls and saying wow John like this is literally how you were trying to explain it to us even though it's very difficult to explain when you haven't had your buddy try them before so I know Colby you've worn them before and it's kind of hard to explain that motion in them but it's very similar to the motion on a steel on ice but especially during this time when there's no ice guys are literally saying, wow, this really makes us feel like we're working out on the ice, but we're on our wheels outside in the middle of the street. So I think for that, it's definitely a great training tool, a little bit heavier, and that's on purpose to be a training tool. Um, like I said, you really have to activate your legs the whole time, and it's truly making you feel like you're mimicking ice skating on wheels. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I took mine out for the first time in probably a couple months uh, this past week, and after you know, 45 minutes out skating on the road, just doing stick handling drills. Like I was, I was dead tired. Um, if you guys are looking, <laughs> if you guys are looking to, to pick one of these up, head over to Mars Blades website. I'll link uh, the code where you can actually get 20% off. I believe it is down here at the bottom. So if you guys are want to pick up a set of those, head over to Mars Blade site, punch this code in. This will work for the off ice frame. I uh, don't believe it'll work for the new R1, but if you're looking to pick up the off ice frame or any of the accessories for that, Head over there, punch in this code, and it'll save you 20% on it. So thanks, everyone, for tuning into this. Hopefully, this was great knowledge for you to learn more about the Mars Blades. I know for me and Colby, we're super passionate about this product, so that's why I really wanted to come on and talk about it. Um, it's super exciting to see that they're getting full into roller hockey, a passion of mine that I love, and now Colby's being able to get into, and a lot of more people are understanding uh, roller hockey lately, which is very exciting, so we always love chatting about it. And it's great to just clear up some dust in the air because you know it is hard to see when there's two different lines um, of a same ch looking type of chassis when they are completely different so it's cool that we got to explain it and you guys got to see more into it so make sure you comment and subscribe to our channels the links will be below here we're really excited to get back to you on your messages if you have any more questions and do a follow-up video for you guys so it was great doing this hopefully it really helped thanks for tuning in